I have an update to my trade video. Actually, this video is to get beyond 300 trade. Why bother going beyond 300? Mostly for laughs. But it will reduce the trade penalty even more, which allows you to buy cheap goods. And it improves the value of your crafted weapons and battle loot. Now you can craft lower end weapons worth even more. Oh yeah, it also gives you a ton of level XP too. I'm going to combine a few different processes. I'm going to use the trade exploit that I discovered years ago and the caravan exploit that was discovered before that. For a good explanation of the caravan exploit, Flesson made a video about how to do it. I'll put a link in the description. For an explanation of the trade exploit, I'll add a link to my video. Let's get started. We need to obtain an obscene amount of weapons to smelt for crafting materials. There are two main ways to do this. First option, use crafted weapons to buy all the weapons in every town. This is straightforward. There are dozens of videos on YouTube that show you how to get started with smithing valuable weapons, including some that I've created. So you craft weapons, trade them for all the other weapons in a town, rinse and repeat for each town. The second option, as I tested it, no. is far better. Become a mercenary or a vassal or stay independent and attack other lords. With this, you get a bunch of weapons and armor. Keep the weapons for smelting and use the armor to buy the weapons from the towns like you did with the crafted weapons in the first option. I believe this to be better because you get higher tier weapons from battle loot. Higher tier weapons generally means more valuable crafting materials. The idea for this step in the process is to get a lot of crafting materials. I'm talking thousands of each. So you need to get your grubby little mitts on as many weapons as you can find. You're gonna spend a lot of time doing this, so find some way that's fun for you. Then, either as you go or all at once, smelt down all of those weapons. I use a trick here to smelt weapons faster. I alternate between the space bar and a mouse click, or rather just smash both as fast as I can. You need to get at least 2 million dinars worth of materials. Worth 2 million to the caravan, not the town. There is a difference. Raising the trade skill. The next step is to raise your trade skill, but not all the way. Let me explain. Go to a town where the value of crafting materials is high. Zianica, Jacqueline, or Sanala are typically the best due to the high prosperity and the high demand for crafting materials. Use the trade exploit to reduce the buying price of the materials. You want to reduce each of the materials separately to get the lowest buying price. After you completed that, use the same exploit to start raising the trade skill. If you want more information on how the exploit works, go to this video. There was a bug on console where this didn't work. You have to save and reload the game. Then it should start working. You want to get your trade level to just under the maximum level and still have the full skill multiplier. That number varies depending on the attributes and focus points you have allocated. An example, if you have eight attributes and five focus, then the multiplier is 11.5 and the maximum level before that starts to drop is 220. If you're using different values, the number is different. For the craziest results, use 10 attribute and five focus and get the skill level to 240 and that multiplier will still be 12.5. Basically get the skill up to the end of that green bar. That's when it starts lowering the multiplier. I use my exploit method and not the caravan method to raise the skill to the green bar. It's slower, but you get more control over how much skill you gain. With some practice, you might be able to use the caravan and predict the skill gains and not go beyond the green bar. In fact, save your game before you start and get a big jump on the skill by using the caravan exploit once. Finish it. Once you hit a high enough level without dropping the multiplier, whether that's the max or just under, you're ready to finish this. 
Let's drop these materials onto a caravan and gain a stupid amount of XP with that XP multiplier. In older versions of the game, each line item in the queue would be its own sale and XP gains, so this wouldn't work. But in a recent update, it's all one sale. Thanks, Tail Worlds. This step assumes you reduce the price of the materials using the exploit, so you're getting the maximum amount of trade XP for doing this. We'll wait for a caravan outside the town. We'll dump all of the materials in it. The good thing for us is you don't get trade XP based on the actual money you receive, but the money you would have received if the caravan had unlimited funds. Look at the caravan's bankroll. 2.8 million in the hole. Looking at the sales queue, this will be huge. And it is. We gained 239 levels of trade and are now level 479. Final thoughts. Obviously we can't do this in the early game. This is something we can work toward as one of our game goals. Also, this is something that can be done in any playthrough in a variety of ways. You can do this right now in your current game, if you didn't already red cap your trade skill. If you have a fief, you can use the stash to store all your crafting materials and weapons until you're ready to pull the trigger. You can use more materials than I did and get even higher trade levels. Keep in mind, the maximum value for any skill level is 1024. I have a bonus for you. You can refine the crafting materials to make them worth more. I loaded the save before I lowered the price of each of the crafting materials. Then I spent a lot of time refining the lower tier materials into the higher tier materials. A lot of time. I kept running out of charcoal and running around the world buying hardwood, and that slowed things down. I gave in and cheated to give myself a bunch of charcoal to speed this up instead of waiting years for the hardwood to accumulate. I also respect everyone to be refiners. I got bored, and this is where I ended up. Because of the way the trade exploit works, we need to have at least two different crafting materials. And the way refining works, you always end up with a bunch of crude iron. Now the value of the materials to the caravan went from 2.8 million to 4.6 million. And once we dumped these into the caravan, we ended up with a trade skill of 552. This bonus really is just for laughs. It took way too long just to get an extra 100 levels of trade. I wouldn't recommend this. I did it, so you don't have to. If you want to see another exploit, check out this video.